and slow again and here we are on quite a cold day and last night was the first night when the gritters were out putting salt and grit all over the roads and that's a sign for me to put these bikes away for the winter so before then I've just been cleaning it up giving it a good check over good clean and I thought haha I can now finally use these things that I made a few months ago so these are bobbins that are now bolted onto the end of these aluminium shafts and these go into the rear axle like so put them in and so that I can now use a pallet stand on the back of the bike because this particular bike doesn't have any fitments on the swing arm for bobbins so that done I went out and I bought myself a brand new product stand. This is from Oxford Products. Pretty nice bit of kit. I have got quite a few of these, but they're all in use. So I thought, right, I'll treat myself to a new one. And that's where I found a problem. And the problem is that the stand is not wide enough to fit onto the bobbins now fitted to the end of the wheel spindle, as you can see, as you can see there. And so looking online, it seems manufacturers don't quote the maximum width of the pallet stands. So I can't just go out and buy another one because it might not be any wider. Therefore, I think I'm going to have to cut this thing in half and widen it myself. And so we'll carry this video over at Jess Workshop where hopefully we can slice this thing in half and widen it by about 80 millimetres. Right, so there you go. We've we'll just uh, cut that in half using the angle grinder. Jeff managed to set fire to his pants, but apart from that, all is well. So now, is that hot? No, it's, no, it's alright. It's, it's not, should be too, it's hot, not too hot. So, there you go. That's in half. So now Jeff's got to machine up a plug to go there. Widen it by about 80 millimetres. Yeah, sort some out. You're not going to get much of a slug in there, maybe no, half inch no. or something. Well, just just, yeah, there's, there's not a lot of stress on this thing that, that no. way. It's mainly that way, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and hopefully then, uh, I can use it on my Not Commando 961. And now it's getting dark, so I think uh, we'll leave it here and I'll come back. I mean, what I can do, see there, I'll clean them, yeah. I'll clamp something on there while I weld well that, and then yeah. take that out. And, yeah. Because it it, it's giving you something to. Yeah, so get eventually it. these will be chopped off and then we'll replace yeah. it with something new. Right, okie doke. I'll just clean the burrs off. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. Right, we'll come back next week and hopefully it'll be done. That'll be done, hi. Great stuff. Yeah. And now here we are, it's the next day, and as you can see, the stand's now been widened from there to there, about 75 millimetres. We put a patch in here as well, and I've just given it a quick coat of paint just to keep the rust away. Not very neat, but it'll do for now. Now I've got the other pallet stand here, and as you can see, these used to be the same width, so you can see how much I've widened this black stand. And now I've got the bike and the stand and it's all pretty secure on these bobbins so I'm pretty happy with that and that should make my life a lot easier when it comes to polishing up these aluminium rims and of course oiling the chain. Now one problem is of course that I can't remove the rear wheel using these particular bobbins but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it when sometime in the future I've got to change my rear tyre. Anyway that's it for now and so thanks for watching and cheers.